Okay, guys, we're back. This will be level five, and it's kind of an entry into level five. And here at American Mustang School, <clears throat> when we enter into level five, we've done level one, two, three, four in the arena. We've got a uh, communication established. So people have got their mind right, their actions right, presented to the horse observe feedback, make changes, and they've gotten into the feedback loop. <clears throat> that feedback loop is the piece that develops the awareness, because the longer you can stay in that feedback loop, the better you are at connecting your mind and body. And I'll do that lateral movement. Go ahead and toe in, step up. And we're going to ask her to stand, and we'll do a right rein. <clears throat> so in level five, we can do the same things we did in level four. We're going to get into this feedback loop. So left rein, right leg, right rein, left leg. And out here in the real world, Cinnamon walks faster. <clears throat> so that's okay. We can... We cannot restrain her, just let her walk out faster. But we'll ask her questions that we know she knows the answers to. You slipped on the slippery pine needles. And it's just like in the arena, we'll ask her these questions. We'll get that feel, proper pressure, proper time, proper response. And we'll bring her here, seated stop, take a deep breath, relax shoulders, hips, legs. And then we'll show the horse that we want to present something that we can expect. So she may have a little herd separation anxiety from, you know, a single horse coming away from the herd. They're over there. She's looking over there. She knows they're there. I've got to become more important than what she thinks is important. So I do that by asking her questions I know she knows the answers to. And then trigger a body response of relaxation in stopping, relaxing, breathing together. <clears throat> I'll show the students how to do that as well. So we can get a deeper understanding of each other in level five, in the real world. The longer you can sustain that thinking, acting, observing, making changes, repeat, get into the feedback loop, outside influences will have little to no effect on you. Your relationship will grow stronger. The value in that becomes worth a lot more because she sees you have her number one. Interaction with a horse develops this awareness. How does outside influences affect my thinking, my actions? You know, we go into the four things. How does outside influences affect my thinking, my emotion, my attitude, my action? <clears throat> As we do this, we develop a deeper understanding of ourselves, deeper understanding of the horse, and in level five, real world riding, you know, we develop a focus and an awareness. Do distractions really have that much effect on our focus? There's not any other place that I've been able to develop as clear an understanding as with a horse. Because I can consciously be aware of what I'm thinking. Is it in the past? Is it in the future? Or is it right here? They'll do subtle little things to bring me back to them. So level five is really cool in developing that feedback loop, sustaining it for an extended period of time, controlling your thoughts and your actions, you know, what your hands are doing, what your legs are doing, what your breathing's doing, muscles, all of the things that you want to control and present to the horse to develop a a strong way to communicate 
and present to them what you expect from them. And in keeping with those laws of nature, you know, we, we're going to learn a lot about the laws of nature the longer we're with horses by, by default. The law of energy conservation. You know, she may walk out faster when we're out here. That's fine. I'm not going to restrain her. I'm going to guide her. And then that energy she'll expend and then realize, whoa, I need to conserve some energy here. I'm going to free up restrictions in her mind, the mental piece of this. No confusion, no doubt, no anxiety, no fear. That's going to not be wasting mental energy. So if I can keep her free in the mind, no tension in the body, you know, free of those restrictions in the mind, no tension in the body. I can help her not be fatigued at the end of our sessions. She'll be refreshed. You know, I've inserted myself into her life with as least interruption as possible. Because remember, strongest law of nature is self-preservation. You know, these wild, once wild Mustang horses, they lived out in nature, analyzed things, life and death. They think to survive. It's that serious for them. So in real world focused riding, I get to go be in her element and I don't want to go against those laws of nature. I want her to think and respond to the questions that I'm asking her, not re react chaotically. So I have to reach an agreement, I have to develop a harmony and balance in our relationship. So we'll move through level five, and I'm consciously aware of what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, what my attitude is, and what my actions are. And I'll ask her to move through nature an extended period of time and really develop that feedback loop to where outside influences have little to no effect on it. Take a deep breath when you come to a stop. Relax your shoulders, your hips, your legs. So cinnamon is very adaptable to a lot of different people. You know, American Mustang School exists to help people get from where they are to where they want to go. And the horse is that bridge. Horse is the one that helps them transition or go through transformation. I've set her up for the best success in doing exactly what you're seeing here. You know, level one through level five, we're at level five now. This is like an entry level and staying in front of this camera, but as we go out and explore Earth together, it doesn't matter where we go. We go to the beach, we go to the mountains, we go to the desert. I've taken her to all those places. We get into this feedback loop where I'm consciously aware of myself and I present to her, observe the feedback from her, make changes to do it again to create the most desirable relationship, desirable results in the relationship. And then we wash, rinse, repeat that. So level five is beautiful. When people get to this point and they're communicating, synchronizing with the horse, an accountability partner. It's like, am I going too fast? Are my hands too fast? Are they too heavy? Are my legs too strong? Am I too tense? Am I not breathing? All of these things become aware in the person. They develop an awareness to it. Horse is aware. They're, they live in the moment. They're here all the time. Person can think about the past. They can think about the future. The horse will do something subtle or obvious and bring them back to right here, the moment, and engage in that feedback loop. It's a beautiful thing. It's, it's a wonderful thing. Every self-help book you ever read you can actually practice in horsemanship, the horse-human relationship, which spills over into human world. Whatever you are presenting to the horse, observing feedback, making changes, doing again, you can actually practice in the real world with people. You know, what are you presenting to your spouse? What are you presenting to your children? What are you presenting to your boss or your subordinates? If you want to change your life, if you want to become better, you have to consciously develop an awareness of what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what your attitude is, what your actions are. Because whatever you think you are presenting may be miles apart from what the world is perceiving. You know, in other words, what am I perceiving of myself? 
And how do I go practice it? Well, with horses, I can literally do that. I can, I'm going to ask her if I can get down. Nice little lateral movement, and I'm coming on down. I can literally ask her, am I too fast? Am I too slow? Am I in a hurry? Uh, am I lagging behind? And she'll say, yeah, you're doing good. Or she'll say, no, you're not. And it's nonverbal communication. Whatever she's thinking, she's reflecting in her body. Her looking over there right now is telling me she's more concerned about her buddies. That's okay. i got to become more important than her buddies. So how do I do that? Well, I ask her specific questions. I know she knows the answers to her. Draw her to me. Trigger body responses of relaxation in her. Her heart rate, her breathing, her muscle tension, restriction in her mind. All have to be in harmony and balance. If I want this relationship to grow and develop, I've got to be aware of that. Again, this is level five. This, this is what we do at American Mustang School to help people start to look inward present outward, get a mirror, nanosecond feedback, make changes, present again. The only difference in level five is you're on their back. You know, what are your hands doing on these reins? What are your legs doing on those, on those stirrups? How is your synchronization taking place? Are you harmony, which is agreement? Is it balanced? Is it flowing in a, a good circular feedback? Or is it incoherent and chaotic? You know, are distractions really affecting your focus on your horse? Those are all things to develop awareness. It's not good or bad. It's just either strong or weak. we just got to strengthen our weaknesses to become better. Horses are awesome at that. You know, these once wild horses, they are highly adaptable to many different people. And many different people have uh, ridden this particular horse and they're their relationship between her and the person is so unique. Uh, there are no two alike, really. It, it's just a magnificent thing. You know, horses, I think humanity will do a big, it'll be detrimental for humanity to lose our, our horses, especially our wild Mustang horses. I can't say enough nice things about them. But if you're interested in uh, checking out horsemanship, true horsemanship, you know, I, it took me 10 years to learn these things. It took me four years to refine them. You know, 14 good, solid years. <clears throat> the last four years, I've got to do something very beautiful with the highest-minded people on the planet, you know, our, our military special operation forces, guys and girls. Uh, they come here, and they interact with these horses. This is an interactive system to get desirable results. It's, it's, it's 100% effective. 100% efficient. It works very well. The American Mustang School exists so people can transition from where they are to where they want to go. You know, transformation. You know, you, you wake up in the morning and you desire to fulfill a purpose. You may not know what that purpose is. You're bogged down with whatever. Horsemanship is a surefire, streamlined way to start helping you gain an awareness that may just be within reach sometimes they just hand it right to you but we have to attract it we have to we can't force it we can't take it we have to align here present there observe feedback make changes it'll flow to you you know the things that you desire become if you want to grow and develop into a better person Horses will do that. See, they don't care about rich, poor. They don't care about black, white. They don't care if your, your status is whatever in the human world. Uh, I don't care if you're Taylor Swift. I don't care if you're... They don't care. You know what they do care about? Here's what they care about. <clears throat> they care how much you care. And in order to prove to them that you care about them, you have to care about yourself and present the best version of yourself to them. Observe feedback. Make changes in yourself. Present again. Then you develop, through law of repetition, control. You can create circumstances you want because if you can control what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what your attitude is like, what your actions are, 
you can, man, you can create things you couldn't before. I promise. This is not, this is no joke. In fact, let me just tell you a quick little story as to why I know. I just shot this exact video and went behind that camera and I hadn't hit record. Do you know how infuriating that can be sometimes? Especially when it was the perfect video of all time. Yeah, whatever, right? No, I just I just made up my mind. I'm like, okay, take a deep breath. <sighs> Relax shoulders. Change the thought. Change the emotion. Change the attitude. So I created another video. Hopefully this is the best video that you will ever see in your entire life. Horses help us do that. They help us become something that we want to become. I may perceive myself as something. She will perceive me as something. How far apart are those? That's the awareness we get to develop. So I've already repeated some of the things that I already said in this video, and I hope that I've helped you in some way uh, understand how valuable horsemanship is. You know, we, we here at American Mustang School, we value these horses, and uh, they know that. We don't force them to submit with pain. We don't use bits in their mouth. We don't use spurs on our boots. We don't use horseshoes on their hooves. We don't whip them, force them into submission. We create a draw. We create a desire for them to want to be with us. <clears throat> and it's, come on, and it's one of those things that pays in dividends. Come here. Come here. Come here, Cinnamon. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come, 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 come. Come on. I know you're all chill. Good job. Well, I'll leave you with that.